<laughs> that is the one rule I've always stuck to. To tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Oh, yes, I believe you. Thousands wouldn't. Ah. Now, Ken, hmm? one glass of shampoo, and then you must go. I can't be too late tonight. Promise. <laughs> there you go. Hey, not only is it the safest way, it's the easiest. I mean, I don't need to make problems. Who does? <laughs> Yes, but getting back to relationships, it's all very easy to make vows of honesty, constancy and fidelity if you never intend to keep them. Where are the glasses? Oh, they're in the above bit. Oh, right. No, really? I mean, what's the point, Ken? Hope you notice the label. James Bond touch. <laughs> Is it meant to signify anything? Well, no smoke signals, but there uh, could be a message in there somewhere. Now, messages, as someone said, are for the Western Union. Mm. Doesn't that depend a little bit on the handwriting? <laughs> oh, I'll never get over that. <laughs> Watching you eat those snails, it was wonderful. <laughs> a glug. There you go. Thank you. Cheers, Jen. Cheers. Mm. Lovely. You know, you've either got to put a stop to all this, or come down on the side of the angels. What? I'm still married, Ken. Well, as my old man used to say, <coughs> religion did love a great service by making it a sin. You're too much of a cynic. No oh, realist. Isn't that what everyone's after? A little bit of sin? <laughs> now you're just being flippant. Yes. And I don't intend to be. But sincerity tends to make me a little bit tongue-tied. You know I'm in love with you, don't you? And don't pretend you don't. Are you collecting your things? Oh, sometime this evening, probably. You didn't like that phone call the other day, did you? No, I did not. Nobody likes home truths. She said I was smug and selfish. Me, smug. I admit to being selfish. I did want things my own way. Meals on the table, that sort of thing. Is that what you really wanted out of marriage? Well, when you join the rat race, you need that sort of support. seemed important at the time. And now? What are you thinking of eating this evening? Caspers. Morning. Morning, Ken. It's not so good today. No. Still, a lot of brown bodies laid out down there. Yeah, this is my sort of place. Bonjour, monsieur. Ah, morning. Uh, English breakfast, please. Mm -hmm. Tea. Tea. Uh, have you got any English marmalade? Monsieur? Um, marmalade d'anglais. <gasps> yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> what? Well, you can have that at home. Come on, when in Rome? Oh, not this lad. No, I like my bacon and eggs. Besides, I need it this morning. Sorry. Ah, voila. There you are. God, you're early. Good morning. 
This is Ken Masters, my boss. Oh. Ken, this is Claude Dupont. Oh. Sure, Masters. Cheers. Perhaps you can join us. We are invited to cocktails and to meet everyone. Oh, no, 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 no. This is, uh, this is uh, Jan C, not my... No, I'm just here on a, a couple of days' holiday. Uh -huh. Ah, here comes my breakfast. Well, I'll, uh, I'll just nosh away while you two get organised. Thank you. Well, I want to introduce you to everyone I know. First, there is uh, Simon de Savignac. He's a real aristocrat, you know? She is not so rich, but from a very good, very old family. And I know that she will like you and want to introduce you to all her friends. What should I wear? Just as you are. It's perfect. Then we will go to the old town and a tender will pick us up and take us out to the yacht of Michel Leopardi in the bay. It is a very big, very white yacht. I think you can see it from your window. It flies an Italian flag. Although I think he is Albanian or Armenian. I don't know. I'm not sure. But one thing I am sure of, he is as rich as Onassis. I didn't know who it could be. Don't you have your key? No. Your mother suggested this would be a good time for me to come and collect some of my things. Yes. I mean, I suppose so. She's away. Oh, yes, I know. Probably why she said it. What about you, Lynn? Have you got anything you want to say? Me? No, nothing. I don't believe that. You knew we were having serious problems. Not that serious. Well, evidently pretty serious. You gave up. Finished it, just like that. Do you really think it was all that sudden? Did your mother say that? Oh, it was pure coincidence then that you left her forever, Ross. I didn't leave her for anyone. A whole lot of things came to the surface. Yes. Things like Avril Rose. Oh, don't be snide, Lind. Your mother fought me from the start on the Mermaid Yard. Long before I knew Avril. And now you do know her. That's what they're saying in all the local newspapers. Look, I didn't just walk out. Oh, did you want to stay? Home comfort tender, mistress. You don't care that mother was humiliated. Lynn! <laughs> For family. I think it's what your mother wanted. Are you sure it isn't you who can't accept it? Jen? Out here. Hello. Mm. Nibbles. Oh, what is it? Surprise. Well, come on, show me. Give us a kiss and I'll tell you. Bribery, eh? Mm -hmm. huh. Well, strawberries. That's funny. The guy said they were called phrases. Strawberries. Yep. Scrummy. Bad, eh? Mmm. They even taste different. Mm. That's because they're French, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> How was your day? Exhausting, but fascinating. Do you know, it's a different world, Ken. I'm lapping it up, actually. I'm never going to get over this week. I must have put on pounds. It's all right. You can work it off when we get back. <laughs> or shall we never get back? Whatever. Ever. How shall we live? Well, I could sell dirty postcards. The place must be crawling with punters. 
<laughs> what should I do? Pose for them? Oh, yeah, and some. <laughs> mm. hmm? Stay still. Mm. 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 Saved you from the stalk. I'm shameless, aren't I? No. That's one thing you could never be. There's nothing in you to be ashamed of. Do you know I love you so much it almost hurts? What happens when we get back? Well, I think the ball's in your court, isn't it? I know what I want. 